One way I can really tell how out of place I am is when I travel. I believe this is a great indication of what it's like to have Asperger's Syndrome. It seems like I really approach traveling different than other people. One big lesson I found out, most other people don't travel just because. They need to have a particular reason. And they need to go to a particular place. Most people like the tourist attractions. To me, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like some chamber of commerce saying, this place is worthy to go to. Why can't I just choose my own place to go? Other people don't see it that way. They say there's nothing to do here if a place isn't deemed a tourist attraction by the tourist bureaus. I'm thinking, hey, I can decide if there's something to do here in any place that's foreign. There's plenty to do. You can observe all types of culture, but other people don't see it like that. They think I'm nuts when I travel. You have to have one reason to travel, according to other people. When I went abroad the first time, I had many reasons to travel. To me, it was personal transformation. You don't travel for personal transformation, I find out. You travel for tourism to see certain things that others deem worthy of seeing. You don't travel for spiritual purposes. You travel for these very rigid purposes. When I travel for a number of reasons, it's hard for me to tell somebody why am I in a given place. And people ask that first and foremost if you travel to a place that's not deemed a tourist attraction. I found the country of Swaziland to be really fascinating. It really drew me in. A big reason was because it's one of the last remaining absolute monarchies on the planet. And therefore, I thought it would be so cool to go there. But it's not a big tourist attraction. A lot of people say there's nothing there. There's a few game parks, but really not much. Zimbabwe is another big place. People like Victoria Falls, but that was not the first place I wanted to go. When I first came to Africa for the first time in 2008, I was starting to take care of myself really well, and I really liked how I felt doing that. One thing I did was dress up better, and I thought I would wear a suit. And then one of the people asked if I was traveling for business or pleasure, and I said for pleasure, and then he saw you have a suit, and this was, it wasn't that radically different culture, it was the white southern African culture, so it's not like I was going to some very different culture. Certainly there's differences, but it's not drastically different. Traveling to Africa really showed me how Asperger's syndrome works versus others.